In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on December 11, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games. After after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Miami Heat vs. Charlotte Hornets The Miami Heat are embarking on a journey to the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina, where they are set to clash with the Charlotte Hornets. Presently, Miami holds a 12-10 record for the season, securing the ninth spot in the competitive Eastern Conference. On the other side of the court, the Charlotte Hornets find themselves in the 13th position in the Eastern Conference with a slightly less favorable record of 7-13. Notably, in the previous season, when these two teams faced off, each managed to claim victory on their home turf in two out of the four games played. Miami's recent performance has been less than stellar, with the team succumbing to a challenging phase by losing five of their last seven games. Their resilience will be put to the test after a decisive 111-99 defeat against the Pacers on Friday. Kyle Lowry led the charge with 17 points and five assists, supported by Josh Richardson's 17 points off the bench, while Jimmy Butler and Caleb Martin contributed 16 and 15 points, respectively. Despite an early 16-point lead. The Heat faltered, allowing 71 points in the second and third quarters combined, marking one of their most disappointing losses this season. Duncan Robinson, in particular, had a forgettable night with just one point on 0 of 7 shooting. In contrast, the Charlotte Hornets have maintained a more stable form, splitting their last eight games. They are coming off a hard-fought 119-116 home victory against the Raptors, with Gordon Hayward leading the charge with 24 points on 10 of 15 shooting. Miles Bridges added 22 points, Terry Rozier notched 21 points with 13 assists, and Brandon Miller chipped in with 20 points. The Hornets shot an impressive 55% from the field and 13 of 25 from beyond the arc, showcasing their ability to weather challenges and secure crucial wins. Both teams are dealing with key absences from their roster, with Miami missing Bama Debeo, Haywood Highsmith, and Tyler Harrow, while the Hornets continue to be without Lamelo Ball. Despite the struggles faced by both teams, Miami holds the upper hand in terms of roster strength, even considering their injury report. Additionally, the coaching advantage heavily favors Miami. The Heat's proficiency in three-point shooting, ranking fifth in the league, poses a significant threat to the Hornets, who struggle in three-point defense, sitting at 27th in the league. Miami's superiority in ball handling, ranked sixth in assist to turnover ratio, further amplifies their strategic advantage over the Hornets who are positioned at 16th as the Charlotte Hornets grapple with ongoing losses. Compounded by the absence of Lamilo, they find themselves at 8-12 to against the spread despite often being considered underdogs. The historical matchup also tilts in favor of the Miami Heat, who have emerged victorious in eight of the last 10 meetings against the Hornets, including a win less than a month ago. The potential return of Haywood Highsmith and Bam Adebayo further strengthens Miami's position, although their status remains questionable at the time of this analysis. Analysis. With prudence in mind, our side pick for the full game leans towards the Miami Heat winning and covering the spread as favorites. Delving into the statistical landscape, the Miami Heat exhibit an offensive prowess, averaging 112 points on 47% shooting while allowing 111.5 points on 48.4% shooting. Key players such as Tyler Harrow, with an average of 23 points and 5 rebounds, and Bama Debeo, contributing 22 points and 9.9 .9 rebounds, showcase the team's scoring depth. Jimmy Butler adds to the double-digit scoring figures, while Duncan Robinson's role extends to securing 2.6 rebounds. Noteworthy shooting percentages include 38.3% from beyond the arc and an impressive 83.9% from the free-throw line. On the defensive end, the Heat aim to limit opponents to 37.8% shooting from deep while securing 40.7 rebounds per game. Conversely, the Charlotte Hornets maintain an offensive output of 113 points on 47.4% shooting 
yet their defensive struggles are evident as they allow 121 points on 48.9% shooting. Lamelo Ball, despite being absent, boasts an impressive average of 25 points and 5.5 rebounds, complemented by Terry Rozier's 23 points and 3.6 rebounds. Miles Bridges adds to the double-digit scoring brigade, and Gordon Hayward's focus extends to securing 4.9 rebounds. The Hornets shoot at a rate of 37.1% from beyond the arc and 79.1% from the free throw line. However, their defensive vulnerability is apparent, allowing opponents to shoot at a 37.9% clip from deep while grabbing 43.3 rebounds per game. Considering the team's offensive capabilities and defensive challenges, our full game total pick leans towards over the projected total. The Miami Heat's proficiency in scoring, combined with the defensive struggles of the Charlotte Hornets, sets the stage for a potentially high-scoring encounter. Indiana Pacers vs. Detroit Pistons Get ready for an exhilarating showdown in the Central Division when the Indiana Pacers hit the road to face the Detroit Pistons on Monday night. The Pacers, sporting a solid 12-8 record both straight up and against the spread, recently faced a setback in the in-season tournament championship game against the Lakers, falling 123-109 despite putting up a valiant effort as plus 3.5 underdogs. On the other side of the court, the struggling Detroit Pistons experienced a tough defeat at the hands of the Orlando Magic, losing 123-91 on Friday night with a plus 10.5 underdog status. Diving into the Pacers' recent performance, they had been sizzling throughout December with notable victories over powerhouse teams like the Heat, Celtics, and Bucks. However, their momentum was momentarily halted by the Lakers in a 123-109 defeat. Tyrese Halliburton showcased his skills, leading the team with 20 points and 11 assists, while Benedict Mathurin and Aaron Nesmith contributed 20 and 15 points, respectively, off the bench. Despite their efforts, the Pacers struggled against the Lakers' imposing size, particularly Anthony Davis, who wreaked havoc with an impressive stat line of 41 points, 20 rebounds, 5 assists, and four blocks. Conversely, the Pistons find themselves in a challenging position, having endured a string of losses and aiming to avoid a disheartening 20th straight defeat. Cade Cunningham led the team with 21 points and six assists in their recent loss to the Magic, where the Pistons struggled to find offensive rhythm, shooting just 42% from the field and six of 30 from beyond the arc. Looking ahead to the matchup, the Pacers are dealing with the absence of Jalen Smith, with Aaron Nesmith listed as questionable. The Pistons, on the other hand, continue to miss key players such as Monty Morris, Jalen Duran, and Marvin Bagley. The Pacers, coming off a tournament high, face the challenge of maintaining intensity against the Pistons who are hungry for redemption following their recent embarrassing outing. While the Pacers had previously dominated the Pistons with a 136-point victory a couple of weeks ago, the current circumstances suggest a more competitive game. The Pistons, despite their struggles, boast a 9-13 against the spread record as consistent underdogs. Anticipating a close game, our side pick leans towards the Detroit Pistons covering the spread as underdogs. Examining the dynamics of the game, Detroit's interior defense faces additional challenges without Duran, potentially allowing the Pacers to capitalize with 60-plus points in the paint. Indiana, seeking redemption from their three-point struggles against the Lakers, is expected to rebound and exploit the Pistons' vulnerabilities. The fast tempo of the game favors Detroit, presenting numerous scoring opportunities against Indiana's 30th-ranked defensive rating and their struggles defending the three-point line. Foreseeing an action-packed game, both teams ranking in the top 10 in pace of play, the total pick favors the over. Expect another high-scoring duel between these division rivals, making the over the projected total our full-game total pick. So, buckle up for an exciting clash as the Pacers and Pistons battle it out in what promises to be a thrilling encounter on Monday night. Cleveland Cavaliers vs. Orlando Magic On the upcoming Monday night clash, the Cleveland Cavaliers are set to embark on a challenging road journey to the Amway Center, where they will face off against the Orlando Magic. The Cavaliers enter this matchup with a recent triumph over the Miami Heat, showcasing their prowess and determination. On the other side of the court, the Magic demonstrated their dominance with a commanding victory over the Detroit Pistons. The Cavaliers have been riding a wave of success, securing victory in five of their last six games. Their stellar performance has positioned them for a potential fourth consecutive win building on their impressive 111-99 road triumph against the Heat last Friday. Notably, Donovan Mitchell showcased his leadership, 
contributing 27 points, 13 rebounds, and 6 assists, while Darius Garland and George's Nang added significant firepower. Despite a slow start, the Cavaliers managed to turn the tide in the second quarter, establishing an 18-point lead that proved decisive in fending off a late surge from the Heat. Conversely, the Orlando Magic have been in outstanding form, notching victories in 10 of their last 12 games. Their momentum continued with a resounding 123-91 win over the Pistons, underlining their team's depth and skill. Franz Wagner led the charge with 27 points, complemented by Paolo Banchero and Goga Baitad's impressive contributions. The Magic exhibited exceptional shooting accuracy, hitting 55% from the field and 10 of 26 from beyond the arc. Their dominance was evident from the outset, maintaining control throughout the game and even resting their starters early. In terms of player availability, the Cavaliers find themselves shorthanded with the absence of key players such as Karis LeVert, Ty Jerome, and Evan Mobley. The Magic, on the other hand, have Markel Fultz ruled out, with Jalen Suggs and Jonathan Isaac listed as questionable. Both teams enter the contest with winning momentum, leading to a closely contested matchup with a relatively short betting line. Analyzing the previous encounter between these teams, the Cavaliers displayed exceptional shooting, particularly from three-point range. However, replicating such a performance against Orlando's robust defense, ranked fourth in defensive rating, seems improbable. The Cavaliers are unlikely to match their previous three-point shooting efficiency, given the Magic's defensive prowess and their ninth ranking in opponent rim field goal percentage. While the Cavaliers have secured three consecutive wins, their recent 121-111 victory over the Magic may not be indicative of the outcome in the upcoming game. The Magic, a formidable team with a solid record, had the potential for revenge in this matchup. The choice between the Cavaliers and the Magic becomes intriguing, especially considering the Magic's impressive 16-6 against the spread record this season, covering 72.7% of their games. Taking a closer look at the Magic's strengths, their defense stands out, particularly at home. With the Cavaliers ranking 17th in pace of play, the Magic can dictate the tempo and showcase their defensive prowess. Both teams struggle with efficiency from the foul line and are situated in the bottom 10 in three-point percentage. Orlando's dominance in rebounding, ranking first in opponent rebounds, is expected to limit Cleveland's second-chance opportunities. The Magic are poised to bounce back from their previous defeat to the Cavaliers with a convincing victory at home. Therefore, our full-game side pick is in favor of the Orlando Magic winning and covering the spread as favorites. Looking at the broader scoring dynamics, the Magic's defensive strength, coupled with the potential absence of key scorers, suggests a lower scoring affair. With both teams ranking in the bottom 10 for three-point percentage, and struggling at the foul line, we anticipate a game where points are hard to come by. As such, our full game pick leans towards under the projected total, with expectations that these teams will not combine for more than 225 points. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.